Hey there, my name is Jesse. This is the Auditorium. I react to video game music as a musician myself. Today I'm going to be doing a Patreon request for Happy Bell and Richard. This is the return of Pokemon. The second time I have featured Pokemon on this channel. This is Omega Red and Alpha Sapphire. And this is called Versus Zinnia or Zinnia Battle. Now, if just really quick before I get started, the only Pokemon I know is Generation 1, and I had a Game Boy Pokemon Yellow Edition, Game Boy Color, and I played that game to death, so I'm very familiar with that music. Anything past those original 151 Pokemon? I don't know. I don't know any of the Pokemon names, I don't know any of the song names, nothing. I haven't played any of the games. But I did check out uh, a song recently, and I think it was like Legendary Battle or something, and that blew my mind. So, but since that video, the floodgates kind of opened and I started getting a lot more Pokemon requests. And this was one name that I kept seeing over and over was Zinnia, 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 Zinnia. Hopefully I'm saying that right. So, let's just get right into it. It's kind of short, it's only three minutes. So, this is the Zinnia battle in Pokemon Omega Red and Alpha Sapphire. I don't know what gen this is, I don't know when this came out. But, I know Junichi is a part of it and that makes me happy. Let's go. string section Question change, nice. I love that main melody. No. Change the key right there. Those drums are so intense, yet so calm, in a way. That's a very catchy melody. Oh, it's almost over. Okay, yeah, that was... You know what's interesting about this one is that uh, the other one I heard, I think, I think it was called Legendary Battle or something, that, um, to me, sounded uh, like a whole new world. It didn't even sound like Pokemon to me. It just sounded like, whoa, what the hell? Where have I been? This one, and I don't mean it in a negatory way, is uh, this sounded to me like Pokemon more that I that I know. Uh, the what gave it away in this one. If I didn't know it was Pokemon, I actually probably would have guessed 
And I only say that because of the rhythm. The bum, 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 bum. Like, I feel like in, at least in Gen 1, they use that a lot. It's a thing called a pedal tone, where it just kind of has this uh, central sort of theme as far as the percussion goes. Um, the only thing that made it really musical and stand out was the violin, of course. But not only did it have a very professional sounding violin, but it was also a, a melody that can get stuck in your head. It wasn't just ambience. For example, um, when I think violin these days, I'm kind of forced to think of like the Xenoblade Chronicle series. Uh, but I can't remember at the top of my head what uh, a, a certain violin song sounds from that game. I just know violins are in it and they're kind of just there like pushing chords along or more on the rhythmic side whereas this it was on the lead side and even though i just heard it once for three minutes i'm gonna remember dun 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 because you know when when less is more when it comes to leads they stick with you you're not gonna remember you're not gonna also remember uh, you're gonna remember kind of like that in between single note kind of easygoing melody that's something that you can hum and whistle that kind of stuff, those would stick with you the longest, and I'm pretty sure that's why everyone was recommending this one. It's because immediately, as soon as soon as I kept seeing this name over and over and over, and this goes with any other like super popular request that I get, I always think to myself prior, I always go in blank, but I always think prior, I'm like, I bet you this has a very catchy uh, hook or melody or something that just gets stuck in your head. And I was right right away. I was like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. kind of reminded me of a, uh, like, uh, if the game Journey was a little more intense, uh, Xenoblade. And of course, um, I can't take away. Uh, this is definitely a unique Pokemon sound. I think from from what I gather, I think these two games are separate games, and they might have been remade. I don't know anything. I'm sorry if I sound like a noob. But yeah, it definitely had more of a this. It definitely had more of an, uh, an iconic Pokemon sound to me. So to me, it was kind of a best of both worlds. I've heard, you know, where it can go as far as um, experimentation, and I know from me being a kid what it sounds like. So it was kind of like a cool little medium for me to bridge the gap, um, because I know they can go way crazier than this. Not that I'm expecting crazier, but now I know that they can also do the. Uh, very musical stuff as well, but also keeping it intense because this is indeed a battle and you feel that with the percussion. And speaking of the percussion, I think that was probably the second thing to take away from it. It was really intense with the big boom, 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 but also it kind of had like this almost drum and bass feel. It was going pretty quickly and it didn't really give you a chance to much slow down. There was a tiny section where it like stopped and then it uh, became more of a groove for just like like one bar and then it just kind of went back into uh, back up to speed so it just it seems like a very intense battle uh, maybe final boss I'm not sure who knows but uh, she looks pretty evil has red eyes but yeah it's the uh, the percussion definitely was like very much a MVP as well as the violins but that's, that's pretty much all I got. It was just a really cool song. If I'm being totally honest, I'm like staring at this and I'm trying to think of like what to say next and I'm just keep humming the song in my head. <laughs> I think this is what you guys wanted. Uh, but I mean, I, I totally see it. I totally see it. I totally hear it actually. It's, I'm a huge sucker for simple note melodies like that. I mean, a true, to me, like the sign of like a very good um, composer or musician is the fact that they can do everything and anything whether it's a lot of notes a little bit of notes but it'll still stick with you in one way or another and uh, that's no different here this, this composer Junichi which I'm pretty sure has been there since the beginning is pretty much the face of this whole series as far as the music goes and it just shows that I mean I thought back then on those limited sounds that he had like I thought that was everything that could have happened from the series, but apparently not. They're still kicking, they're still going, and they're still making insane soundtracks. And I'm gonna be totally honest here, as much as this song was awesome and memorable, I have a scary feeling that this is nowhere near like one of the best songs in the series. I don't know what's telling me to say that, but I just have a feeling that this isn't even like 
top five Pokemon songs. I don't know what you guys think. I know you're going to tell me. But actually, let me know where do you think this lies. Is this like in the top 10, top 20? I'm talking like of all time. It has potential. But based on how much music I've missed and how much it's advanced, I'm willing to bet that this is like uh, in no bad way, shape, or form. I'm guessing this is just like one of the the weakest out of all the new ones. Maybe. Who knows? I feel like the potential with Pokemon is, is kind of dangerous to me. And that's pretty scary considering this song is freaking insane. <laughs> so don't take anything I said in a negative way. It's just... It's a huge franchise, man. I think, what, Pokemon is probably like the biggest selling... I don't even know. I don't know. I don't know. It's, it's, it's just huge. We all know what Pokemon is, whether we want to or not. But I had a lot of fun with it as a kid. And it's nice to know that it's still going. And from what I've been told, uh, kind of similar to... Well, in, in the comments I've had for Sonic games, I've had a lot of hate. Like, well, despite how bad the games are, the music is always good. Now, I'm not sure if... Pokemon people have said that they have I've definitely heard that all the soundtracks are good but I've actually wonder are there like is it the same thing are there bad games with good music are there bad games are there is there bad music I want to know all these little things because when it comes to something so huge it's just it drives all these questions out of me because I've just been missing out and I'm not going to play them so I might as well get it from the source which is you so thank you Tabby Bell and thank you to Richard for that. That is cool. I cannot look. For, I'm looking forward to more. I have a lot more Pokemon songs too. Uh, maybe about ten more at least. So I look forward to those. If you want to make a request to me, you could do so on Patreon or PayPal. Either are totally fine. If you do not mind waiting, if you do not want to wait, there is the Platinum Trophy tier on Patreon, which may or may not be full right now, and that expedites your request to the very top because the the wait is long, and that pretty much destroys that wait. A big thank you to Aiden, Justin, Kevin, Moon Knight, Rogue Mock, Solid Bullet 066, Your Average Metalhead, Lord Daddy, DJ Singletone, and Hieno for being a part of that. Thank you for watching, Pokemon fans or not. I appreciate your time here. My name is Jesse. This is the Auditorium. Have a great morning, day, or night. Peace.